This is Mary from marysconchari.com. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimentation with monotypes. I'm going to be using a lot of different uh, mark making materials and some of them from my yard. It was very nice outside today and I decided to go around and um, get some leaves and a couple of weeds and stuff that have been growing and popping up since the rains happened this year. I'm also going to be experimenting with a couple of papers um, that I don't normally use for monotypes. Um, I was trying to find something that would be more affordable for um, printmaking. Um, so I'm going to be trying some drawing papers that um, for like regular drawing class you would, you would use. It's about 80 pounds and it's acid free but it's not you know high quality um, archival paper. Also I'm going to be using some Bristol board. And so those are great for, you can actually paint on those. And I think those might actually work out a little bit better. Those are 100 pound and they're also acid free. Um, so I'm gonna be experimenting with those papers today. We'll see how it goes. So I'm using some speedball ink and I'm rolling it out um, directly onto the gel printing plate that I have for this monotype. And I'm just sort of marking in uh, where I want the figure to be. And now I'm just sort of arranging um, my plants um, according to where uh, where the figure is and um, I'm just sort of trying to fill in that area and that space and I'm also taking note that um, some of the um, the little marks and stuff on the leaves they'll end up building a little bit of a texture on the ink underneath So now I'm just using the um, the drawing paper that I was talking about um, to actually pull this print, and it's going to take off most of the ink around the whole um, on the all of the gel plate. And what it's actually going to do is press ink onto the leaves and the plant material, um, so then I can actually make another image after this. So this was not really the um, the finished project. So you can see that it's just like this negative space.
So now I'm going to take all of the leaves and kind of take them and put them upside down um, and with the ink side up um, on the plate again and then I'm going to print it again. And for this one, I'm going to print using the Bristol board. I really like the way that the Bristol board printed. Um, the drawing paper's too thin, I think, and it, it was too wrinkly uh, for any kind of finished piece. But the Bristol board, I think it printed out quite nicely. So you can see here that it's just sort of like an experimental um, process. Um, there's the finished piece. I thought it looked kind of cool. And if you're, if you look closely, you can see the figure. So now I'm just reworking this again, and I'm going to take the same um, uh, plant material and. Um, reuse them again and with the remainder ink that's on there and then I'm going to add in a figure after this.
while I was um, printing, I actually found out that there's a way to kind of take out some of the ink that you don't want to reveal some highlights. And um, what I did was I folded up, um, I tried paper towel and it wasn't really getting an exact, but what I did was actually wrap a baby wipe up against um, the edge of a uh, paintbrush and wiped out the highlights that way and it was actually really very effective. So I'm just adding some textural elements on the outside and finishing up and then I'm going to print again using the Bristol board. My camera actually stopped filming and <laughs> so um, you'll see the finish, finished image at the end. Thank you for watching.